My name is Lindsay and I am having a rhinoplasty with Dr. Bonasisi. Meeting with Dr. Bonasisi, I felt comfortable immediately and he really reassured me that what it is that I wanted to get done was was possible to be done. What I liked about our discussion was that we were both on the same page in terms of what would look good aesthetically. I'm gonna reduce her hump. I'm gonna make her nose a little more narrow. She's got a space that she can see between her tip cartilages that she wants to have softened, so I'm gonna close that. And then I'm gonna straighten out her columella, which has got a little bit of a curve to it. I was very comfortable. He explained everything. He's such a nice guy. He really just wants to make this happen. It's really obvious when you meet with him just you know how how good at his job he is. Leading up to my surgery, I'm very excited. I'm finally making this change in my life. I want my nose to just fit my face and I want to, to just see that, you know, it's a slight difference that Dr. Bonasisi has described to me that I'm gonna see, but for me, it's a huge difference. I'm really happy that I chose the team at AOS Clinic. So Lindsay, uh, it's been seven or eight months, I think, since your surgery. Yeah, we did it last March. So today we're gonna just have a good look at your nose, talk to you a little bit about what changes you've noticed since the last time I saw you. Post-surgery, I was very excited for the first time about my appearance. Uh, it's the first time in a long time that I could just feel truly comfortable when looking in the mirror. So what I did surgically was kind of what you described. I've narrowed your tip cartilages, I've made them a little bit more defined at the, at the top mm -hmm. and, and got rid of that flat spot that you had. Yeah. You also had a space or a cleft between your cartilages that you could see pretty much on all of your views. Yeah. And so I've brought your tip cartilages closer together so that that space would, would not be visible through the skin. I also put a little cartilage graft in there to make sure that there, that space doesn't sort of indent with your skin. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, I fixed your septum. Your septum was crooked. It was making your nose and your columella crooked as well. I expected the procedure itself to be quite painful. Uh, you know, it's surgery, your face is getting worked on. Uh, but when the surgery was finished, uh, I was awake, I was comfortable and in no pain, which was completely unexpected. I had no idea how quickly I would recover and I was back to work within a week. The goal in all of this is really just to tone your nose down. You had a perfectly nice nose before, but some of the features sort of stood out a little bit on your face. And anything that is crooked or slightly wide or has a proportion that is maybe outside of what is typical catches the eye a little bit. So with rhinoplasty, we're really trying to just get all of your features to be reasonably bland and nothing that sort of stands out so that now you see your eyes, you see your lips, you see your hair. The nose is just a thing that you breathe with and nobody cares about, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's a success. For anybody looking to get a rhinoplasty and has been thinking about it for a while, uh, don't rush it. Make sure that you find somebody that you're comfortable with, you know, talk to doctors and just go in being prepared knowing that you're, you're in good hands. You know, you're working with professionals here who know what they're doing, but for me it's been the biggest change of my life. and. I kind of wish it didn't take so long to, to make the change, but um, I have no regrets and I'm really excited to see where I can go from here. <laughs>